Hello, 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 y'all. It's Transformational Tuesday, and your girl has something to talk about. I'm talking about change today, y'all. Shifting, moving forward, okay? Uh, we always start with scripture around here. So, um, 2 Cor uh, Corinthians 5 and 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. The old has passed away and the new has come. But I want to talk about the old first, okay? So, um, but let me give you a definition of change, so, too, as well. So, definition of change is to make some someone or something different, alter or to modify, to replace something with something else, especially something of the same kind that is newer or better substitute uh, one thing for another thing sometimes when you are going to go through some things you're going to have people that try to bring up your past and you need to be okay with who you were then and who you are now okay you need to be okay when Joe Blow come along and say, oh, I remember you when. And you need to remind them that, you know what? Jesus died so that my sins could be cleaned away. So while you trying to throw dirt my way, it's already been finished. Jesus finished it on the cross. And guess what? I'm okay with who I was then and who I am now. So it's all right to have them come along and try to bring up your past. But you know what? You go ahead and have a funeral for your past. You go ahead and be all right with the person you were then. Because if you have not gone through anything, you can't teach nobody anything. If you not have not had a chance to uh, have experiences about different areas of your life, how can you teach if you haven't learned? I, I think Maya Angelou says, when you learn, teach. I, I want to say that she said that. She also said a thing that um, that's true to this day. When somebody shows you who they are, you believe them. Believe people when they show you who they are. Don't wait till the second and third time that they show you. Let them show you that first time. And then you don't have to go through the challenges of dealing with people and their drama. Because when you see a snake, you need to cut him off at the head. Chop his head off. That's how you kill a snake, okay? Now, that sounds a little aggressive right now, but at but where I'm at and where I'm what I'm thinking is, you know, um, I almost let my emotions stop me from making this video today, because when you're going through stuff, uh, the first thing the devil wants you to do is renege on your obedience to God. Now, that would mean that I'm sitting here trying to fight a battle that I shouldn't have to fight. You know, my battle's already won. Jesus died on the cross. He paid the ultimate price for me. He paid the ultimate price for me. And that's what I have to realize and recognize, that God have my answers. And sometimes when you're going somewhere, you just cannot take people with you. You can't take everybody everywhere you're going. And you need to be all right with that. I'm a person that really don't like a whole lot of change, but at the same time, change is good. Change can be really good for your life. Because what is your peace worth? Hmm? What is your peace worth? I think it's priceless to be able to sleep at night, to have, not have unease in your body, which causes disease in your body. So, when you're going through, when you feel like your your, your uh, past is being dug up, it's okay. Be all right with who you were then and who you are now. And you keep having your funeral for your past. That's them living back there. You don't have nothing to do with that. You got to be who you are now, today. Because you're shifting. You're changing. And change is sometimes a very, very, very good thing. It's probably a very good thing. It can make the difference between living and dying if you want to know the truth. Because you can die inside and not be okay. So, 
2 Corinthians 5 and 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. You are a new creature in Christ. Don't let nobody take that from you. God have our answer, and he going to fight your battles. So you rest while he work. You do the resting. Because if you're going to fight it, then he's going to go sit down and rest. That's what he's supposed to do. That's what he's supposed to do. So, hey guys, I love y'all. I'll see y'all for trying for uh, Tabby's tips on Thursday. Okay? Have a fantastic day. Keep smiling and being your great self. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs>